Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft vehicle tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to and doing the Char 2C with a crew of 12. Moving on over dimensions, this is a very big, super heavy tank. So it's dimensions pretty big. It's got a length of over 10 meters. Pretty long, pretty long, big tank. Its rules a super heavy tank, and the number built was 10. Moving on over to armaments, it had one 75 millimeter gun and four 8 millimeter Hotchkiss MGs. You can see here the engines. I couldn't find the exact name for them, but there was two engines equaling 500 horsepower. And it had a max speed of 15 kilometers per hour, but that's pretty much it for this, and enjoy the tutorial. Hello ladies and gentlemen, the scared to a here, and I am back from my break, and uh, uh, which is awesome, but at the same time, I'm still kind of recovering from being sick. Believe it or not, I took a break to kind of sit back, relax for a little bit, and I get sick, like, a few days ago. Absolutely great, right? So, anyways, I'm still a little sick right now, so I'm... You know, still kind of recovering, but I decided to go ahead and, you know, start recording again because honestly, it was kind of boring not recording and uh, doing videos and stuff like that. Though I did get some work done on some stuff that I wanted to get done, including the Char uh, 2C. So, uh, as I kind of mentioned, this right here is the Char 2C, and as you guys probably saw by the thumbnail and the title and uh, all that stuff. Now, this is going to be the new behemoth coming to uh, Battlefield 1 with the new expansion, and uh, it also uh, basically was a tank that was developed in the late stages of World War 1, uh, but it actually didn't see any action until World War 2. Funny thing is, they built 10 of these, and uh, they actually named it after French colonies. And uh, the funny thing is, is that uh, basically in the Battle of France, six of these were destroyed. I don't know what happened to Air 4, but uh, they were not very good when it came around to World War II, that's for sure. Um, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a little bit of a look at the vehicle, and uh, we'll go ahead and move into the tutorial. So, uh, to get started here, you have basically your, of course, your uh, tracks, very nice big tracks, very similar to the Char B1's kind of design, uh, open kind of tracks, uh, kind of like that. Pretty nice, came out pretty good. Um, you can see here we got the the wheels and stuff like that. You also have the machine guns that were actually built into the side here, the tracks, which is kind of interesting, but uh, that's what they had. And uh, just some uh, venting and stuff like that, and uh, a little good detail around the tracks. And I, li I like the way the tracks came out. That's for sure. Looks really nice. And the front section up here, up here, you have the driver's viewport, also in our um, uh, whole machine gun, and uh, you can just see a little bit of detail here in the front. Nothing too fancy for that. And you cannot, you see here you have the main gun, so 70, that was the 75mm gun, uh, pretty, uh, pretty nice sized gun, and for some reason right there, the green stained glass box missing, but I'll fix that a little bit later. And you have all your vents, your mufflers, all that stuff, your engine would basically be right about in here. And on the back here you have a, uh, a uh, basically a Hotchkiss machine gun uh, turret in the back here. And uh, who knows, maybe in Battlefield they'll probably make it a 20mm, even though it actually is supposed to be an MG, but... Uh, we'll just have to see how that goes. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much the overlook for the Char uh, 2C. And with that, we'll go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off for our first layer, Layer 1. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to Layer 1. Now for Layer 1, what we want to do to get started here is we're going to go and take another brick half saps and we're going to place down a total of two of them across, just like that. And then we want to place down two nether brick top saps coming off of it so you get something that kind of looks like that. Now right there's going to be pretty much the front section of your tracks. And this is the right side we are working on currently, so you guys can kind of plan it out. Uh, make sure you guys have proper space for it and everything like that, but once you guys have that ready to go, we can go ahead and continue on. So after you guys go ahead and do that, we're going to take our nether brick stairs, place down one, two, three, four, five, oops, my bad, uh, five right there, so you can see we got five rows of two of nether brick stairs, and we're just going to go ahead and continue going back. So we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, and, uh, let's see, it's sixteen, and 17 so it's like that so you have 17 of these nether brick stairs and we'll go ahead and count again just to make sure 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 17 of these nether brick stairs like that with the rows of two and then we're just going to place down two nether brick top sabs coming off these two nether brick stairs like that on the back we also want to go ahead and take our signs and we're just going to go ahead and run this all the way along the side here you guys don't have to do this, but it kind of helps cover it up as the armor pretty much does do. Um, so I think it looks good, adds a little bit more detail to the kind of side of it. So it's kind of up to you guys if you guys put the signs here or not. Um, but, you know, again, it's uh, pretty much up to you guys, but I would recommend it and uh, everything like that. So you're just going to run the signs down all the way along the sign, the side, uh, just like that. Just like so. Now, once you guys have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, and three blocks. Just place order blocks. We're going to go and basically build three blocks over. 
and we're just going to go ahead and do the same exact thing. So your Nurbrick half steps and your Nurbrick top steps. And you're just going to go ahead and pretty much copy the same thing over here. So uh, just go ahead and do the same thing. All right, so once you went ahead and duplicated the tracks over here to the left side, like you did on the right side, you should have two uh, basically symmetrical uh, lines right here that basically are just uh, mirror images of each other. And uh, once you guys have that pretty much all done, uh, you guys are done with layer one and you can go ahead and move on to layer two. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer two. Now layer two is actually uh, going to be a little bit more complicated, but still pretty simple. And uh, it's just going to basically build upon what we've already started. So anyways, to get started here, what we want to do is on top of these, uh, these uh, nether brick top slabs here, we're going to place down two dark oak wood up and stairs just like that. And we're going to go and do the same thing like this um, on the back of it. So you have two upside down dark oak wood stairs just like that. And you're just going to go and do the same thing up here in, on this side just like that. Now once you guys have that done, uh, coming off these nether brick or these uh, dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down two nether brick stairs like so on either side. And then after you guys go ahead and do that, we're going to take our green stained clay and place down one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oops. Uh, let's see, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and uh, sixteen. So basically, you're going to place down a row of green stained clay all the way back to you get to this nether brick stair. Then uh, you're going to go ahead and place down a stone button on this green stained clay block, delete this one right next to it, and replace that with a dark oak wood upside down stair, like so. So you should get something that kind of looks like that on the side. And then taking your nether brick uh, full blocks here, we're just going to go and take our full blocks, place down uh, two nether brick full blocks, like down top of those nether brick top slabs. Now on the side here, we want to go ahead and we're going to take our banners, and we're actually going to go ahead and place down one on the dark oak wood upside down stair, followed by two more after it on these green stained clay blocks, followed by a wooden trap door, like so. Then uh, we want to go ahead and go to from this wooden trap door here. You're going to count one, two, and three green stain clay blocks. Place down a stone button like this. Skip a space of one green. There's a stone button. Skip two green stain clay blocks. A stone button. Skip one, and then a stone button, just like that. So you should have something that looks like that from the side so far. And then if we go ahead and go to the center kind of part here, we're going to go ahead and place down one and two green stain clay blocks coming from this one right here, followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair in the center, followed by one, two, and three over here to this side. And basically what you did over there on that side, we're just going to go ahead and repeat over here to this side. So your dark, your nether brick uh, stairs like that, or full blocks, my bad. And then your dark oak wood upside down stair. Your row of green stained clay blocks all the way toward the front, just like that. And you also want to go ahead and do your banners. So you have one, two, and three. And your wooden trap door. And then again, your stone buttons, exactly how we did on the other side. So just like this. And uh, pretty much the one thing that we want to do next to pretty much uh, cl and close this all in is we want to go ahead and go to this um, upside down dark oak wood stair place down a row of three of these uh, dark oak wood upside down stairs across like that and uh, then you just want to go ahead and fill this space all in with green stain clay blocks so uh, you guys just want to go ahead and fill this all in just like this and then close this all up and this will pretty much be the bottom of the hole of the tank so if you're planning on doing some kind of interior for it this will be the floor of it and uh, you could always change it to a stone color or something like that if you want the the floor to be a grayish color. Um, just make sure that, uh, you know, it's pretty much on the bottom. You don't want to make a side stone because it wasn't a uh, gray looking tank. So, uh, but again, it's kind of up to you guys to kind of mess around with. So anyways, guys, that right there is it for layer two. And with that, we can move on to layer three. Alrighty, guys, so going ahead and move it on to layer three. Now for layer three, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start by taking your nether brick stairs, placing down two on top of these uh, nether brick ups and down stairs in the very front like that. And then after you guys go ahead and do that, we're just going to take our dark oak wood stairs, place down uh, two stairs like this, followed by two like that, back to back, so you create the uh, basically the wheel looking shape like that. And you just want to go ahead and do the same thing over here, over there on that side as well, so you get something just like that. And then uh, taking signs, we're just going to go ahead and place down a sign, a sign on this uh, dark oak wood stair like this on these sides, just like that on your side. And then over here on this side, or on the outside, we're going to go ahead and place down two signs next to these dark oak wood stairs, and then one like this. Uh, on that stair and same thing over here on this side like so and then place down the signs all on the side just like that so you get something that kind of looks like that now in between uh, these stairs right here on top of these dark oak wood upstairs we're going to place down three green stain clay full blocks just like that and then we want to go ahead and take our dark oak wood fence gate place down one like that on that center green stain clay block like so after you guys go and do that from this dark oak wood stair here we're going to place down one and two green stain clay full blocks and then we want to go ahead and place down uh, two, just like this. And we're going to go ahead and take our, uh, basically our dark oak wood fence gates and place down one like this. So you get something like that, that's going to be the side machine gun, and we'll go ahead and do the same thing over here on this side. 
So just like that, and then your dark oak defense gate to create your little machine guns there on the sides. And once you guys have that, we're going to go ahead and also take a wooden trap door, place it down on that green stinkway full block on the side here. So it should be pretty much in line with this one right here. And then after that, you're going to place down two green stinkway full blocks. And then taking our polished anti, we're going to place down one, two, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, just like that. And then taking your, uh, basically your ladders here, we're going to place down a row across uh, the, ladder, the sides of those uh, polished anti blocks, just like that. And then uh, taking our green stinkway full blocks, we're just going to place down one, two, and three. Uh, back just like that and then we want to go ahead and on the back here we're actually going to go ahead and take our grab ourselves some nether brick top slabs place down one and two like this followed by two half slabs on top of those full blocks and then you can take your green stain clay we're just going to want to go ahead and double up this row right here so just go ahead and place down a row of green stain clay all the way along the side here just like this to connect up with that now what we did over there on that side we're just going to go ahead and repeat the same thing over here to this side so you're going to do the same thing with your tracks here um, also, real quick, before we go in, um, move on to this side, on this back section here, we're going to place down three green stinkway full blocks across like that, followed by a second row of three that kind of comes out like so. And then you want to go ahead and uh, place down a placeholder block like this, place down a dark oak wood stair, like this on either side, and then coming off that dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab, just like that. So you're going to have that look, that look, something like that looks like that on the back. And then once you get done with that, we're just going to go ahead and go to this side, do the same exact thing we did on the other side. So just like this. And uh, also, it looks like I missed it, but you want to go ahead and place down a stone button on that green snakeway block. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that in case you guys didn't. And uh, then we're just going to go ahead and repeat the same thing that we did on the other side, as I kind of mentioned earlier. And your ladders and all that stuff. Just go ahead and do that like so. And then your two green snakeway full blocks, just like that. And uh, once you guys have that done, you guys have pretty much completed your third layer of the build. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer four. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer four. Now for layer four, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by going to the front section up here, placing down two dark oak wood half steps on top of these two dark oak wood stairs, just like that. Same thing over here on this side, just like that. That's going to kind of create your uh, rounded portion of the tracks and um, everything like that. Now, once you guys have that done, we want to go ahead and uh, place down two dark oak or two nether brick top steps like so. Same thing over here, just like that. Then uh, once you guys go ahead and have uh, that done, we're going to go ahead and actually take our dark oak wood stairs here. We're going to place down uh, two upside down dark oak wood stairs, just like this across. And then we just want to go ahead and on the inside here, we're going to place down two green stankway full blocks like this, and then an upside down dark oak wood stair like that for the driver's viewport. And then we also want to go and take a dark oak fence gate, place it down the side here for your, uh, basically your machine gun uh, right there. So something just like that. Now once you guys uh, have that all set up and uh, ready to go, to uh, go ahead and continue on with this build, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and take our dark oak with uh, our nether brick top slabs actually, place down two like this. Then we want to go ahead and place down another brick upside down stair, followed by a green stankway full block. And then after you guys go ahead and do that, we're going to place down two dark oak with top slabs. And then again, another brick uh, upside down stair, followed by a green stankway block. And then two dark oak with or two nether brick top slabs and then again an upside down nether brick stair and a green stain clay full block then you're going to go and place down two nether brick top slabs and then again a upside down uh, nether brick stair and then a green stain clay full block and then again two nether brick top slabs a nether brick upside down stair and then a green stain clay full block right behind it so if you look at this you should have something that kind of looks like this so far and it'll end right here on your third polished anti block from the end one right here. So something just like that is what you guys want to have. Once you guys have that done, we're going to place down two nether brick top slabs, just like that. And then taking our dark oak wood upside downstairs, we're going to place down a row of two, like this, followed by a second row of two, like that. And then we're going to place down two nether brick half slabs, like so. And uh, basically what you did over there, you're just going to go ahead and do over here for the tracks. So same exact thing. Uh, we're we'll going to place down our green stain clay blocks, like so. And then place down a nether brick upside down stairs, just like this, for your tracks. And then placing down your, uh, basically your nether brick top slabs, just like that. And same thing over here. And your upside down nether brick stairs, and your two nether brick half slabs, like so. Now, uh, once you guys have that done, we're going to want to take your green stinkway. Place down a row of green stinkway across the side here. If you guys are planning on doing some kind of interior for this, you guys can always maybe swap this out for banners or something to kind of give you a little bit more interior space. Kind of up to you guys though. But uh, we're going to be going ahead and just putting down our green, row green stain clay along the sides here just to go ahead and fill in the spaces and all that stuff so you don't have anything visible to the outside as you guys can see. 
Now, uh, once you guys have that done on the back here, we're just going to go ahead and take our green stain clay. And we're just going to go ahead and place that in row 3 across when we get to these two nether brick half subs, just like this. And then once you guys go ahead and finish that up, we're going to place down a stone brick stair on your side, followed by a dark oak with half sub in between it. And then coming from these stone brick stairs, we're going to place down one, two, and three. Dark oak with half stabs coming off the stone brick stairs. Just like that, that will end on top of that nether, or that dark oak with top stab. So overall, you should get something that kind of looks like this for your layer, for your fourth layer. And uh, once you guys have that all done, you guys have completed layer four. And with that, you guys can move on to layer five. So uh, real quick, before we go ahead and move on, I just want to go ahead and point out that I made a little bit of a mistake here. Now, uh, basically these green stain clay blocks here, we're actually going to go and swap those out with some... Uh, Nether brick by uh, top stabs just like this just because in the tracks uh, you'll be you'll be able to see this part uh, from the outside here and uh, I thought for some reason I thought that you weren't going to be able to or wouldn't be a problem but uh, you will be able to see that on the tracks as you get some see here in those green stain clear blocks would look really weird sticking out so we're just going to go and uh, swap those over um, to uh, just nether brick top stabs and you will have a little bit of an opening behind the stairs which looks kind of strange but uh, it's pretty much the best thing we can do for that so let's go ahead and make that adjustment and uh, once you guys have that done, you guys can go ahead and move on to uh, your next layer. All right, guys. So going ahead and move on to layer five. Now, for layer five, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start by taking our another bit, or sorry, dark oak and half stabs, placing down a row three across the front section, just like this. Then taking our dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down another row three across, just like so. And once you guys go ahead and do that, we're going to place down a green stain clay block there in the center, followed by a dark oak wood stair on either side, like so. Then we want to place down a row of three of green stain clay full blocks and we're going to grab ourselves a sign here and we're going to place down a sign like this on either side of that row of three just like that now once you guys have that done we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on either side and then a green stain clay block there in the center of course you can haul this out if you want to have a little bit of an interior for the turret but we're just going to go ahead and fill it in uh, for the sake of the tutorial and then after you guys do that we're just going to place down a row of three of dark oak wood half subs and then uh, we're going to place down row 3 of green stain clay full blocks, followed by a sign on either side. So just like this. Oops, my bad. So just like that on uh, either side of that row 3. And then once you guys go and do that, we're going to take our green stain clay blocks, place down uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 4 rows of 3, just like that. And you're going to go and place down a sign on the sides here of this last row of 3, just like that. So you should have 3 rows of 3 here that aren't uh, that don't have a sign on them or anything like that. Now once you guys have that all sorted out, uh, what you want to do next is you actually want to go and take your dark oak wood stairs here. We're going to place down one and two upside down uh, stairs on the side here, followed by a sandstone top slab, or a red sandstone top slab, and then a sign on that stair there that's kind of in the center. Same thing over here on this side, so just like this, and the sign as well, so you get something like that on your side. And then you want to go ahead and take your uh, dark oak wood stairs, place down a row of three across, just like that, and you want to place down a sign on the sides of those stairs as well oops uh, just like this on either side and then once you guys have that done we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on either side green stain clay block there in the center and then we want to place down a, another row of three of green stain clay so just like this and then taking our uh, dark oak wood stairs we're going to place down one like this on either side and then a green stain clay block there in the center coming off this uh, last green stain clay block we're going to go and grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence gate place it down like that and we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone brick half stabs, place down one like this on either side, like so. And uh, once you guys have that done, you guys have completed layer 5, and with that we can go ahead and move on to layer 6. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer 6. To start off uh, with layer 6, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go to this front section up here. We're just going to place down a row of 3 of green stain clay full blocks across, just like that. And we also want to go ahead and take a stone button, place it down on your side, like so. Then coming off the uh, middle block here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair. Followed by one, two, three, and four dark oak with top stabs, just like that for the main gun. Uh, so just like that. After you guys go and do that, we're gonna place down a second row of three, followed by a third row of three, and then a uh, fourth row of three, just like that. And then again, a stone button on the uh, end one right here, just like that, and a stone button on your side there. Once you guys have that done, we're gonna place down a wooden trap, or sorry, an iron trap door like this on your side. And then we want to go ahead and uh, grab ourselves some red, smooth red sandstone full blocks, place down two like this, followed by a stone button on the tops of those blocks, like that on either side. And then on top of these dark oak wood upside down stairs, we're going to place down a green carpet, just like that, so two green carpets. And then we want to place down two iron trap doors, like this. And then again, taking our red sandstone blocks, we're going to place down a row of three, followed by a cobblestone wall on either side, and then 
a uh, stone bun on the sides there on those uh, red, uh, those red sandstone blocks just like that and then we want to place down a cobblestone wall on the back here on that uh, side red sandstone block and then we want to go ahead and place down a darker wood fence gate over here on the right side so you get something that looks like that on the back now on the top of the here uh, top of this section here for the turn you're going to place down a darker wood half side but kind of around like that and then a green stinkway block there in the very center so you get something like that for the back turret and uh, once you guys have that done you guys have completed layer six and with that we'll go ahead and move on to our last final layers which will basically be uh, layers seven eight and nine and when doing those we'll be able to go ahead and finish the vehicle off so with that let's move on to our final layers Alrighty, guys so going ahead and moving on to our uh, next kind of final layers here what we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, start off by taking our dark group with stairs placing down a row of three across just like that and then uh, coming from your center stair here, we're going to place down two dark oakwood half sabs just like that. Now behind these dark oakwood stairs here, we're going to place down a row of three of green stain clay, followed by a second row of three just like that. After you guys go and do that, we're going to place down a row of three of dark oakwood stairs on the back here. So you get something kind of like that. And then for the top of the turret, you're going to place down a dark oakwood half sab on either side, followed by a green stain clay full block just like that. Now once you guys have that done, pretty much all that's left for us to do is to go ahead and put the antenna on the back here. And for this, you're just going to place down one two and three iron bars on top of this cobblestone wall just like that for the antenna but anyways guys that right there's pretty much it for my design of the char 2c hope you guys did enjoy and uh are able to put this build to good use and if you guys do end up using this design be sure to give me proper credit for this be anything from a sign of the build to link to my channel or this video if there's an appearance on any social media sites just be sure you're proper credit for the build that's all i ask for when doing these tutorials it helps my channel grow and it helps me continue to produce these tutorials but other than that guys thank you guys so much for watching be sure to suggest what world war one slash world war two vehicle you guys would like to see next time and i'll be sure to try and get to it as soon as i can but other than that guys thank you guys for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe this has been gary 2f4 and i'll see you guys next time